I am certainly not going to claim to be an expert on this car, but it does not take an expert to tell you this thing is drop dead gorgeous. It's a 1956 XK140 MC, and this car has been rotisserie restored. It scored 99.96 points out of 100 at a Jaguar National uh, Judge show. It is beautiful. Go to volocars.com where you can look at all of our inventory, uh, all the pictures, descriptions, and prices. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. In addition to having a price tag on every one of our cars, we also offer financing, so they'll have a monthly payment next to it as well. That's at volocars.com. Okay, so this car was restored probably about five years ago, uh, or at least three years ago because uh, that's how long the gentleman's owned it that I got it from. Uh, beautiful, absolutely straight. And just the lines of this car is just am amazing. But the body work itself, that's what I'm judging right now. It's all straight. I don't see any issues. I don't see any body work. I don't see any shrinkage or problems or lifting in the paint. It all looks amazing. Yeah, what a good-looking car. The gaps are right on the money. Locking gas cap. The welting between the fenders is matched to the color of the car. All in excellent shape. I, there's a mark here. Yeah, that rubs off. That cleans off. Beautiful. The paint is outstanding. I don't even see chips or cracks or any flaws like that. Look at this roof line. Look at the door handle. I love how it's down here instead of up there. It's just very cool. Look at that. The rear windows pop out. You got vent windows here as well. You have vents that open here. Here's some chips in the paint. <clears throat> when this door opens, it must have rubbed and chipped it top and bottom. Here's a little scratch touched up right here. This is all amazing. And just look at all the curves. Look at the lights sticking out. How they just stick right out. Beautiful grill in the middle there. Just awesome. What a stylish car. This is one you can just open your garage door just to peek in and just look at it. Or heck, park it in your living room. That's where it deserves to be. So it has the Jaguar ornament, the grill, all the chrome, all been redone. This has the Lucas lamps as part of the package. You had the 140, that was the base car. Uh, then you had the 140, I think it was a C, and then you had the 140 MC. This is the MC. It's the top of the line. comes with dual exhaust system, comes with the fog lamps, and it comes with a 20 uh, horsepower more engine. So this is, this is the top of the line. All the gaskets, all the trim, all looks like it's been redone. It's a concourse condition car, all in beautiful shape. Oh, the wire wheels are part of the package, too. Uh, Knockoff wire wheels, the radial tires look to be in new condition. The very edge of this door is a little bit chipped up. So yeah, the outside is beautiful. All the glass is crystal clear. Why don't we open it up, show you what the inside looks like. So these were race cars back in the day. It says right here, Winner Le Mans, 1951 through 1953. This is a sports car. Trunk compartment, beautiful. Look at the bottom side. Got a light. And then the inside, it's all upholstered the way it should be, and it is complete. Looks like this part of the jack. Uh, those are knockoff wheels. You hit the spinner to install the wheels. The tool kit, it's even a little pump here, and a car cover. We have a buy it now button on our website. If you see something you really like, you just click that button to get it locked in for yourself. Door jams are painted beautifully. Door panels are reupholstered. Looks like a burl wood trim. That's all been redone. All the chrome even on the inside of the car looks like it's done. This is how you open a door. I think there's a cool feature. It springs back. 
Look at this. It's an automatic. This is the first year Jaguar offered an automatic. It's actually, they bought it from us. It's an American Borg Warner. It does have the complete set of Smith's uh, gauges, including tachometer. Look at how it's all refinished beautifully. All the knobs and switches. Even has a little felt line drawer. Love boxes line. The wood's refinished on the inside. Very classy. And look at all the carpet, all bound edges, side panels. Everything's really nice. You got chrome e brake, all leather. This is soft leather. It's like a split uh, seat. <clears throat> In back, you have little tiny cushions. I guess it'd be for very small people, maybe little kids. I'd assume this opens up, probably a compartment. Looks like they lock. It's all upholstered inside here in cloth. Got this wood trim going around the window frame here. Got some tinted visors, even a special tinted mirror. Jaguar steering wheel. Looks like it's 3D looking at you. And then I believe it's a telescopic wheel. I'm pretty certain you loosen that up and slides in and out. Beautiful. High class. This is a 1956. I'm comparing this to a 56 Chevy. Night and day different. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I'm not sure where that goes. I'm just going to hold it up for right now. So it's an inline six dual overhead cam. The C engine has different heads. It even has a type C on the valve cover here. And just look at all the components. It is nut and bolt restored, dual carbs. It's a 210 horsepower engine. Every component looks like it's refinished. Now Caleb's going to take you for a little drive. I hope you enjoy that. Guys, we are in the Gangster Jaguar, taking you for a ride around the block. Such a cool car. I've never driven one, so this will be a first time for me as well. It does have a telescoping steering wheel, so that's kind of cool. I'm about 5'11". Uh, I fit fairly comfortable. I still have some head space. I'm not ha having to hunch over. The seats are nice and comfortable. Uh, it's a little awkward though, you do sit at an angle, so the foot pedal box is angled out compared to where you sit. That's because of the trans tunnel. Uh, that's just how these older Jags work, but that's all right, you get used to it. Kind of like the Shelby Cobras. You know, it does, it rides like an old car. It is a classic, so it's not, it's not super smooth, but it does drive very nice uh, so far. Brakes real nicely, the steering's tight. Of course, they are both manual. It's got disc brakes. The horn works. <laughs> Gotta press it right. Uh, the blinkers do work, so I figured that out. We'll see if they auto cancel. I don't know if that was an option back then or not. Uh, so we'll have to test that out. I love the little shade on the rear view mirror. It's a little sun visor too. Uh, these sun visors are nice, they're tinted. You see right through them still, but it does help with the, the wind, or with the sun. Uh, we have the vent windows. Let's see if it opens up. It's, that one's stuck. Might have to lube it up. Uh, we do have our fresh air vents open on each side, so I can feel the air coming in. It's pretty nice. Gives it a nice cool area under the footwell. I always wonder, uh, these older cars, like the British cars, the Austins are known to heat up uh, down here pretty and get pretty hot, uh, but I'm not noticing that on this Jaguar, so maybe it's insulated properly and heat shielded through the trans tunnel. All right, we'll see if the turn signal cancels. I think it does. Here we go. Let's get 
up to speed. All right, so that does not cancel, so you have to shut it off manually, but we're cruising right now. Trans shifts very smoothly. Rides pretty nice over the bumps. There's a tiny vibration in the steering, nothing, nothing too noticeable. Right now, uh, all the gauges are working besides the speedometer. Uh, we are fixing that. We had to order a new cable for it, so our boys in the shop will be replacing that uh, before the sale is finished on this car. Man, you could, yeah, get in and drive it, turnkey. This was an extensive restoration, and it shows. I love the feeling of looking over this long hood on it. You just, you feel like a badass driving this car. You really do. Um, this is something you could drive across country and make it be kind of comfortable. I feel like I want to be in a 24-hour Le Mans race right now. It's got the look, the sound, the comfort, the luxury. Look how beautiful this dash is. It, they don't make them like they used to, that's for sure. Turn signals, oh, wrong one. Everyone's staring at us, or staring at the Jaguar, not me. Um, yeah, everything's functional, the wipers. That's the heater one, where's the wipers right here? Turn those. Those are funky, but they work. And they suck back down. I believe it even has uh, squirters as well. So that's kind of cool. My favorite part has to be this cigar style uh, middle console here. It's felt lines for your stogies. I said, I'm still learning with these cars, but this little key that was attached in the trunk, that opens that rear compartment I was just showing you, and actually that just opens right into the trunk. I also just lifted up the floor, and it's all refinished in there, and there's another wire wheel for a spare under the trunk floor. Uh, yeah, beautiful car. Go to volocars.com. Actually, the underneath, I got to tell you about it. It was on a rotisserie. It means it was flipped upside down. All the components were taken apart, restored. All the suspension, the brakes, dual exhaust all the way back, rack and pinion steering in front. Uh, it was all redone. The underbody uh, is this color, but it's like an undercoat or chip guard paint, and then it's color matched uh, like this. The fuel tank looks new. So concourse restored, near perfect, but that was a few years ago. I mean, the car is incredible, but yeah, if you were here, you'll, you'll find a little this or that, but the car is stunning. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen can help answer your questions, including how to get it delivered, how to get it financed. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so you're notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.